Today, I'm going to teach you how to solve a simple linear law question. Okay, first you can have a look on this. This is one of the past year question in 2011. Okay, the question mentioned that the variable x and y are related by the equation 3y equal to p minus 1 x plus 12 over x and then where p is a constant means actually p is a number okay diagram 12 show the straight line qr obtained by blotting x y again y square mean actually he, he brought this class this graph by x y again x square okay so in the part a he asked us to express 3y equal to p minus 1x plus 12 over x in the linear form mean he want us express this equation into a linear form okay in this chapter you need to remember one formula which is y equal to mx plus c okay but then this one the y will be in the capital y equal to m and x will in the capital x plus c okay why why is it y and x need to in a capital form because in this chap in this chapter x and y actually can substitute into the any form okay so now okay you see the x acid now x acid now is x y means as the y acid now is x y means actually the y here you have to change to x y and the x acid here will be x square mean the capital x you have to change to x square so this is what they call it linear form y equal to mx plus c okay so let's change it together okay let's see okay so first in this equation i i want to get x y for here now only have three y mean i have to multiple x for everything okay so i multiple x i will get three x y equal to okay this one p minus one bracket x multiple x we will get p minus one x square because x multiple x you will get x square plus okay 12 over x multiple x we will get 12 okay now we will, we have x y here and we have x square here but then y acid only can have x y so we we do not want 3 so we divide 3 for all of here means we, di we, we divide 3 here so after we divide 3 we will get x y equal to p minus 1 divided by 3 x square plus 12 over 3 okay and 12 over 3 we can simplify so we, re we write one more time x y equal to p minus 1 over 3 x square plus 4 okay when you when you can write until like, like this this is the linear form so we have to understand this is y equal to the whole thing here will be m x plus c okay therefore we have y y now equal to x y m now will equal to p minus 1 over 3 and x here now equal to x square and the 4 now will equal to y intercept c c is y intercept so if you can complete in this form then you you most probably know how to solve the following question so now okay in this diagram you see given y intercept is on the point r is 0 6 t so obviously the 6 t now is the y y intercept okay so and then the gradient will be p minus 1 over 3 therefore 
I can simply draft here. So therefore, the M for this diagram will equal to P minus 1 divided by 3. And the C now will equal to 60. Okay, if we got this information, we can solve part B. Okay, this is part A. Okay, so this is already in the linear form. So we are done. Of course, in the exam, you don't need to write out this one y equal to mx plus c. You just need to write until here. You'll get full mark for part A. Okay, for part B. He say, given that the gradient of QR is negative 2, means the gradient for QR here, you will get negative 2. Okay, actually here you've got a Q here. Mean the gradient for QR, you will get negative 2. And then he asks you find the value for P and T. Okay, since we have the gradient, so we actually we can do the gradient first. Okay, now the gradient is P minus 1 over 3. We get from here. P minus 1 over 3 is M. Okay, therefore, P minus 1 over 3 will equal to negative 2. We solve this equation, we will get P minus 1 equal to negative 6. P will equal to negative 7. Therefore, we can get P equal to negative 7. Okay, the second thing he asks us to find T. Mean actually, 6T will be the Y in the set. Therefore, we write, okay, from here we can get our Y in the set is 4. So, therefore, 60 will equal to 4 because 60 is the Y in the set. Therefore, we write 60 will equal to 4 and T will equal to 4 over 6. Therefore, T will equal to, we simplify, 2 over 3. Okay, that's, that's all for this question. Okay, very simple. The first, it gives you this equation. You just arrange in the linear form. So, in order to arrange in the linear form, you have to make sure you know what is y in the set and what is x in the set. Uh, no, what is y acid and what is x acid. So, y acid here will be xy, x acid here will be x squared. Therefore, you just rearrange, make sure here the y you get xy and x here you get x squared. Then, this is the linear form y equal to mx plus c. After that, you have to understand c is 4. Therefore, the 60 will equal to 4. And then he gives you the gradient is negative 2. So negative 2 and you get your gradient here is p minus 1 over 3. Therefore, p minus 1 over 3 will equal to negative 2 and 60 will equal to 4. Solve the equation, you can get the value p and t. That's all for this question. Thank you.